everybody, my name is Tanya and welcome to my August TBR. So obviously the first week of August is taken up by the Booktubeathon this year and I have set my TBR for that one which I will link down below. So there are some other books that I'm hoping to read in the first week. We'll see how successful I am on that one. But this TBR will cover the rest of the month and there's definitely enough in there to keep me well and truly occupied. I don't know how realistic all of this is but we will find out. So first up, my Agatha Christie of the month is Death Comes as the End. This one is a reread for me, I've read this once before. And I do very clearly remember who the whodunit is so that's going to be interesting in this one seeing if I can pick up the clues. But probably not, we'll see. This one is unique in that it is set in ancient Egypt, so not a usual setting for Agatha Christie, but it's one that I really, really enjoyed. It's been a very long time since I've read this, so I'm really looking forward to it. Then I've got four buddy reads lined up for this month. The first one I've got is Solace by Gail Carragher. This is one that I'm going to be reading with Eleanor from Eleanor Reads Books later in the month. This one I believe is a reread for her as she reads it in preparation to go on with the rest of the series. This is something that I've owned for ages, it's been sitting on my shelf and I just haven't got to it, so I thought I would join her for this one. I don't know that I'll be continuing on with the series, I don't own any further of them, but we'll see what I feel when I've read this one. But I've heard really really fantastic things. I had purchased this pre-booktube, but since watching booktube I've heard so many amazing things about it on here and that it's a favourite of quite a lot of people, so I'm definitely looking forward to finding out what all the fuss is about. Next up, I've got The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters. This will be my second Sarah Waters. I read Fingersmith in July last year and really, really enjoyed it, but just haven't got around to reading any more of her work. So this is another one that I'm going to be reading with a group and I'm really looking forward to it. I don't really know all that much about the blurb of this one, but I'm kind of happy, I think, to dive in without knowing. And that I've wanted to read more Sarah Waters since reading Fingersmith and I've only heard amazing things about her around Booktube. So definitely looking forward to picking this one up and finally reading some more Sarah Waters. Next is something you will have been seeing everywhere on booktube and I'm so excited to read it and that is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. This just sounds amazing and guys this cover is just stunning. The, uh, the gold detailing on this one is just beautiful, I've only heard amazing things and again I'm reading this one with a group which will be wonderful. I'm sure you've heard the synopsis of this one many many times in videos in the past weeks. But basically this is about a village which is protected by a wizard and in exchange the wizard demands uh, a girl from the village to come and serve him for 10 years. And this time the person chosen isn't the person everybody expects and it sounds fantastic. And I read Temera by Naomi Novik a couple of months ago and I enjoyed that one so I'm really looking forward to reading more of her work. I really need to read the rest of that series because I own the first five. But anyway, next one up I'm going to read this instead. And then the fourth body read I'm doing is something that I don't own in physical form yet and I've been tossing up whether I'm going to read it or whether I'm going to listen to the audiobook. I do actually own the audio version of it and that is The Bone Clocks by David Mitchell. I've not read any David Mitchell before, I've wanted to get to Cloud Atlas for a very long time and I just haven't got there and I always thought that that would be the first one of his that I read. But when the opportunity came up to read this one with the group, I thought why not? And so I'm really looking forward to finally reading something by David Mitchell because again I've, I've heard such fantastic things about him. I've heard really mixed things about uh, Cloud Atlas, like really fantastic things and then not so much. So I'm really interested to see how I go with his work. He sounds like something that I'm really really going to enjoy so I'm looking forward to it. Have I said that about every book? I think I have. And now for carryover from July that I didn't get to, I've got The Incarnations by Susan Barker. And I'm feeling really bad that I didn't get to this one in July. This is my book to recommends pick for July and I just ran out of July to read it in. So this is a must must read for this month. But so now it's time to find out what my August pick for the Booktube Recommends project will be. So as I said, Incarnations is definitely a priority to get to as soon as I can, but after that I will move on to whatever comes out of this jar. And so let's find out what that book is going to be. I continue to try and read in the screen and I just can't. It is The Bees by the Lean Paul and so this one was recommended to be by Ella from Ellery's Books. So here we've got the bees and I'm really looking forward to this. I've heard it described as The Handmaid's Tale meets The Hunger Games which you know is really interesting. I don't know whether in reality it's going to really turn out to be that way but I've heard some really interesting things about this one and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how I go with it. This one is told from the perspective of a bee which in itself is unique and interesting. So I've got the book here but I had recently seen uh, Sarah from Sarah Actually Reads listen to the audio version of this one and say that it was fantastic and that she highly recommended it. So I might actually check out the audio version of this one uh, and listen to it instead. I'll have a look and I'll see how I go. But in any case I will be reading this one next month as well and I am really looking forward to it. I have said really looking forward to it way too many times in this video. 
these are books that I'm hoping to get to next month as well as The Bone Clocks by David Mitchell and all of this is going to be in the weeks after Booktubeathon. I don't think I've given myself an easy TBR this month at all but as I said I ended up with the full Betty Reads this month and I'm really pleased about that but four is probably a little bit excessive but whatever. So if you've read any of these ones do let me know in the comments what you thought of them and if you have any questions about anything do let me know. As always thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!